the Emperor Adjustable Razor, the Emperor Adjustable Razor Augustus Edition, and now from Viking's Blade, a brand new Emperor Adjustable Razor coming up next. Hi, YouTubers and wet chambers everywhere. It's Mark with GeorgeTune.com. I'm back with another video. Well, let's cut right to the chase. Viking's Blade has introduced a brand new Emperor Adjustable Razor. Here it is right here in the packaging. The Emperor Adjustable Razor Meiji Edition. That's right, right there. Look at that. Again, packaging is top notch. The artwork is absolutely beautiful. Just absolutely beautiful. Love that Japanese flavored art there because the razor is named after Emperor Meiji. Now, Emperor Meiji ruled Japan from about 1867 to 1912. He's credited with bringing the Japanese nation from its isolationist feudal society into the modern industrial age, thus making it a world power. And we're going to go ahead and shave with this. And this razor's look absolutely reflects the Meiji Empire at that time. So let's open it up and let's see what we got. Here it is right here. Another beautiful case. Viking's Blade, the Emperor Meiji. And I believe I pronounced that correctly, Meiji. And here it is right here. And let me give you a little information card again, as usual, about the razor, about shaving. And here it is right here. Isn't that beautiful? It is absolutely beautiful. This is a shorter handled adjustable razor. It weighs in at over four ounces. It has a lot of heft and weight to it. It is absolutely, absolutely beautiful. I love the color scheme. It has a black and brass color scheme with this beautiful red ring right here around the handle. Now red is a very important color in Japanese culture. It's symbolic of passion and strength. And if you have a passion for wet shaving like I do, a very, very fitting detail on this razor handle. Again, it is not a longer handled adjustable razor. It's a shorter handled adjustable razor. Let's look at it next to the standard emperor. You can see that it is a shorter handle, but it has the same diameter handle to it. <clears throat> it has the same great dual head that the standard emperor has. And it has some beautiful weight and heft to it. Uh, a lot of razors are described as being built like a tank. This is built like a tank. This is going to last a lifetime. It has an adjustment knob here from one to nine, which is numbered and it is very smooth. It has a nice, firm, smooth feel to it. It's very precisely calibrated. And uh, just, you dial in, say, six, six and a half. Boy, you know exactly where you are with this razor. Really nice. And again, the dual head comb, so that one side is a little more aggressive, the other side is a little, a little less aggressive, a little more milder, so that you can change the aggression on the fly. So that's what I've usually done. I've had about, Three shades with this. It's been absolutely beautiful. And again, I love the color scheme. Little different, but similar to the Augustus edition. You can see that it's, that the Augustus is a little darker, a, a darker brown. This is more, the, the Meiji is more on the black side of the color spectrum. This is more on the brown side, but they both have that same great brass razor head. And, uh, Again, I love that red ring, that little detail there, really, really nice. Here it is a, next to the Vikings Blade Crusader, and you can see that the Crusader is much, much longer uh, and a slimmer handle, a completely different feel. And this uh, handle length really does change the shave. Uh, it really does change the angle of approach. It's just, it's just really, really, uh, a different shave from the standard length Emperor razor. Very nice shape. Let me show you this next to my late father's Gillette Super Speed to kind of give you an idea of length. Look at that. It's not it's just a little bit longer, not very much. So it's very much in that uh, ballpark of a standard sized 
uh, handle, just a, a great feel on the hand, really, really nice. If you're looking for a shorter handled adjustable razor, this is the one right here. And again, it is twist to open, so the doors open up. Okay, so we're gonna shave with this. This is absolutely wonderful, wonderful razor. I've gotten some beautiful, beautiful shaves with this. I, as I say, I've shaved with this about three, four times already. And uh, I love this razor, I really do, it's wonderful. We are going to use a, um, a Vikings Blade mild razor blade with this razor. I'm also going to use some uh, Chella shave soap. I got some hot water soaking on it right now. We're gonna use my Vikings Blade Fire Mirror shaving brush, which is soaking in the sink right now. I'm gonna finish it off with uh, a Shash Allen Block and uh, some Wild Country Aftershave Splash and some Wild Country Aftershave Balm. So that's kind of the long and short of it right now. I'm really excited for this shave. This is an absolutely beautiful razor. Again, it feels so wonderful in the hand and um, very efficient and very, very smooth. So uh, let's get right to the shave here. And I am gonna take some of this because it's been soaking prior to my starting the camera. I'm gonna go ahead and put that in there like that. And we're gonna go ahead and wet the face and start this shave. Oh man, and I am looking forward to this shave. I have about two days growth here. And I'm just gonna wring that out a little bit. And I've got my cello soap. I'm gonna give that a couple more shakes. Here's my cello soap right here. And I'm just gonna load that brush. I'm gonna do a face lather. And uh, again, <clears throat> When loading the brush, I like to do it just to about the point. A little bit of cream with a little bit of peaking starts to build up on the sides of the, uh, the bowl here. And, uh, nah, almost there. Might have to add a little water while I'm doing the face lather, but that looks like a pretty good load right there. And because the holidays are coming, this is a great choice because <laughs> Chella smells like Christmas cookies. And uh, really, it's got a kind of a Santa looking gentleman there on the, uh, on the label. And, uh, oh yeah, I'm gonna need to add some water. And uh, just dip the tips of the brush in there and we'll get right going. And with the holidays coming up, this Meiji razor, <laughs> make a great Christmas gift. I'm telling you. It is absolutely beautiful. It's precise. It's rugged. It's very well built. As I say, it has just a, a terrific feel in the hand when you, first, when you first hold it. It has such enormous heft and weight for its size. I used to think that some of the other razors that I purchased in the past were, you know, built like a tank. This one, this one really lives up to that moniker. Okay, wow, that just lathered up quickly, didn't it? I love this synthetic brush. This fire mirror does a wonderful job. It is soft. It has some nice backbone to it. And cello soap, you can't go wrong with cello soap. You really can't. It's a tallow-based soap, and I have used soaps that are tallow-based and non-tallow-based, and I like them both, but you know, truth be told, there's just something to tallow. There really is. Okay, so here we go. That's got it. That has got it. Really, really nice. Okay, let me get my blade here. Let me open this guy up. Love these Vikings Blade mild razor blades. If you have coarse hair, uh, you probably wanna go with the Cayenne Hot by Vikings Blade because those are a little more aggressive, a little sharper, uh, have a little more oomph for that kind of beer type. But since my skin board is on the sensitive side, this, is, uh, this blade is fine. There it is right there. I'm just gonna leave it right there. And let's just open this guy up. Now, when you open this up, you wanna make sure that's all the way up to number nine or max right there. And then just open that up and let's get this blade and just drop that in like that. And there, but there it is. 
It's absolutely wonderful. And you can see that the blade balance and alignment is spot on. Absolutely terrific. The shorter handle makes it so much more maneuverable than uh, a lot of razors I've used. Uh, that and the weight, the combination of the shorter handle and the weight really make it just maneuverable. It, the, the weight of the razor does all the work, but because of its more compact size, it just moves around the contours of face, around, moves around the contours of my face a little more easily. It really is terrific. Okay, we're gonna heat this up and we're gonna have a shave. All right, and let's just swirl in the sink to bring it to temperature. Now I'm going to adjust this to about six and a half. So there it is, it's six and a half. And you can read the numbers on this, uh, on this too. There's no problem with that. So let's roll in the water a little bit. It's at six and a half. I'm gonna start with the sculpted side. And on my neck, I'm going to use the straight bar side. So I'm gonna switch from sculpted to straight bar uh, when I get to my neck. So my neck's gonna be the straight bar side, but everything else is gonna be the sculpted side. Well, under the lip will be the, the straight bar side. So here we go, 30 degrees, a light touch. Let the razor do all the work, gentlemen. That is so smooth and efficient at six and a half. That is wonderful. Beautiful, just absolutely beautiful. I did my first shave at six and a half with this razor. It was just wonderful. There's an efficiency there with no biting, no overly aggressiveness. I am using the straight bar side again here, and I like that because I can turn down the aggression of the razor just by flipping the razor head. So if, uh, if your neck is a little more sensitive, all you have to do is just flip the head. That's what, that's what I love about this razor. Okay, so back to the sculpted bar. Beautiful. And now the straight bar side underneath my nose. Nice, very nice. Okay, that's the first pass done. Let's rinse. That's a beautiful first pass. That's a lot more efficient than a lot of other first passes I've had. Really nice. My chin is just about done. I mean, Right now, <laughs> if I had to go to the office with a socially acceptable shave, I could do that right now, right now, after that first pass. Second pass is usually my money pass, where I get into darn fine shave area. Oh, and by the way, I did do one pass with this razor the other day, and I went to the office, and I, you know, <laughs> I was fine. I looked clean shaven. It was wonderful. And you know what? That also brings up, I'm going to put a little more water on my brush here. That also brings up that school of thought from uh, previous generations who used the Gillette Super Speeds and other three piece razors out there. They, uh, they, they only did, you, you, you can go up to wet shave forums and and uh, see the discussion among the different wet shavers there. And they'll usually say that their fathers and grandfathers would say that they only did one pass and that was it. And uh, since then, the thinking has been, you know, do two to three passes to really get nice and close, which I think is a good approach. But if you're just beginning, just know that, hey, if after one pass you think you're done, you're done. And you can kind of work your way up to doing uh, two passes and three passes, and an adjustable razor is a nice way to go because you can turn that aggression down to get a more milder, tamed, so to speak, uh, second and third pass. So really guarding against 
irritation of your skin if you're a beginner because your skin does adapt. I know I noticed that that when I started the, when I came back to the traditional wet shave, my skin had to adapt over time. I was using an electric razor all those years. My my skin was really really dry. So uh, I was putting uh, moisture and uh, good shaving soaps and balms and that sort of thing, and it was restoring and balancing my skin. It was adapting to the wet shave. At least, in my opinion, that's what uh, that's what I thought was happening. Okay, I'm going to turn this down to five, right there, five for my second pass, and we're going to use the sculpted bar throughout. Might flip it to the. Uh, straight bar we'll see see how it goes but we're going to use the sculpted bar throughout we're going to go east to west across the grain pass number two you know every once in a while every once in a, in a blue moon sometimes with some other razors i use I get really low here, I'll feel a little bite, like a little, uh, maybe the skin is loose there and I'll feel a little bite. And not so with this, not so with this. Just use a light touch, that's all you need. I mean, it mowed down two days growth on that first pass, absolutely no problem. I would, I would guess that if it was just one day's growth, uh, I certainly would be ready for the office with a socially acceptable shave. Again, the size of the razor head comes in really, really handy for getting up underneath the nostril, get those little bits. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Okay, second pass done, let's rinse. That's nice. I am, <laughs> I'm done, I'm ready for the office, but you know what, I'm gonna go ahead and do a third pass on a milder setting to get really, really close. Because the other day, I did three passes at six and a half, five, and two, and I came away with a beautiful VBS shave. And I dare say that's probably what I'm going to have today. Now, as they say, don't find the BBS. The BBS will find you. You know, with this, with this razor, and that was my first shave right out of the box. My first shave right out of the box with this. The BBS found me. I was just, it was wonderful. I was really on cloud nine. Really great, and look, more than enough, here look, more than enough lather coming from this brush and the cello soap. Here, just take a little more right off of there, look, see? Look at that, nice. Cello was a good choice this morning. Okay, just a little more right there. Nice, very, very nice. Let me rinse my hands here a little bit. Wipe them off. The knurling on this handle is wonderful. Uh, really gives a nice, firm, sure, solid grip. Uh, at no point uh, have I felt that this was slipping in my hand. It feels just so solid in the hand. And again, the weight and a half, the knurling, the length of the handle, <laughs> this is a terrific, terrific razor. I was so surprised by it. Really, it was just terrific. Now I'm going to turn this all the way down to two right there. 
level two. And I'm gonna use the straight bar side and I'm gonna do a very light cleanup pass here going south to north against the grain. I'm just mopping up a little bit here. Sorry about that, just don't want that puddle of water there. Uh, okay, so we are gonna use the straight side. I'm gonna go south to north against the grain, very light third pass. And you could probably just hear a little bit of that remnant whisker there, just a little bit. Just a light cleanup pass. Really don't need it if I wanted to go to the office, but if I really want to get, like I say, BBS, this is going to give it to me. Very, very nice, mild third pass. I can feel the blade, I can feel the cutting, but it's really not overly aggressive. As a matter of fact, I was able to go against the grain here in the corners of my mouth a little bit, which with some more aggressive razors, I don't wanna do, but uh, this was nice and mild. I was able to do that with no problem. Okay, third pass done, let's rinse. Oh boy, that is a smooth shave. That is wonderful. That is really, really nice. I'm gonna drain my sink and I'm gonna do my two final passes. One warm, one cold. Boy, that is a nice shave. Wow. And what's really nice is, without thinking about it too much, my chin is very clean shaven because sometimes on camera, if you've seen some of my videos, sometimes just talking and shaving, uh, I don't always get this area here as efficiently as I should. Maybe I'm talking and I'm just not paying attention. This razor took care of that, absolutely no problem. Really gave me a nice clean shaved area on the chin and throughout my neck. Really nice. Okay, I'm gonna do my warm water rinse and get some of this excess slickness off. I took a lot of slickness off uh, during my first rinse here after the third pass but there was a lot of soap slickness in the bowl, so I'll remove the excess slickness now. Here's my warm water rinse. Okay. Yeah, some, some extra slickness was there. Not a whole lot, but yeah, gotta take that down. All right, so here's my cold water rinse. Ooh, that's good and cold. Here's my cold water rinse. All right, cold water rinse. Oh, that's marvelous. That is really, really refreshing. Beautiful. Got a clean, fresh towel waiting for me right here. Oh, boy. That's nice. Oh. Okay, all righty, that's terrific. Here's my shash block. We're gonna go with, uh, gonna run this under some cold water. It's an alum block. It'll take care of all the micro abrasions and small mix and cuts that you might have. Uh, knock down any irritation that might be developing, but I dare say with this razor, that's, <laughs> That's not existent. It really isn't. I had a really nice smooth shave. Here we go. Oh, smooth as ice. Smooth, smooth, smooth. No stinging at all. No stinging. No stinging at all. No stinging. Maybe, I don't, even, I don't even think that's, I don't think I would call that a zing. No, there's nothing there. Maybe, maybe 
minuscule, itty bitty little zing. But, you know, that was a smooth shave. That was an absolutely, absolutely smooth shave. Okay, we're gonna just take this and put it back into my dish, my dish here and set that aside and uh, let that uh, just air out. It'll be ready for uh, tomorrow morning shave, ready to go. I'm gonna mop up here. I'm gonna let that set up. I'll be right back to finish the shave uh, because I am like a hippo at a, in a water hole here sometimes, uh, splashing the water around. So yeah, I'm gonna mop, mop up a little bit, straighten up, and uh, I'll be right back to finish the shave. Hang in there with me. You know, just absolutely beautiful synthetic brushes. You know, I don't know. There's been some discussion online of whether or not Badger brushes are going to be around much longer because the synthetic brushes perform so very, very well. And, uh, you know, I love this one. This one, this Vikings Blade Fire Mirror Brush. I like the size. I like the weight. I like the, 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 the metal alloy base here. Um, I like everything about it, the, the, the softness, the backbone. It does a great job with soaps and creams. I like it a lot. And uh, yeah, it's been a favorite. And look, it's like, it's like almost dry. It's amazing. So all you have to do is just hang it there on my Vikings Blade Admiral stand. I mean, kind of an all Vikings Blade shave almost. Right there, set it aside, let it hang out and dry. Looks great there, it's wonderful. Um, so yeah, let's finish this shave up. Avon, Wild Country. Boy, I like this stuff a lot. I talked about this, I bought new old stock, and uh, you know, they, they brought it back for a limited time, and boy, they sold out right away. I grabbed three bottles uh, of the new stuff. Oh, is that nice. I love the scent. It's got alcohol in it. And um, the thing I like is that there's a nice brace to it, but it doesn't burn. It doesn't hit you over the head because I had a really nice, smooth, irritation-free shave, which is the whole point of the process. This is the um, Avon Wild Country Balm. I'm gonna use a little bit here upstairs and also in the mezzanine area. <laughs> Up here like this, okay? And just let that aftershave just just gonna put this up there like that. Let the aftershave just kind of uh, evaporate a little bit. And now Wow, great shave. This razor is absolutely wonderful. I love the size, I love the weight, I love the maneuverability, the colors, um, love everything about this razor. It is precisely calibrated. The adjustment knob is numbered, firmly smooth as it moves around uh, the razor when you adjust this. You know exactly where you are and you're getting that uh, aggressive or mild shave, wherever you dial it in. Really very, very nice. The Vikings blade, mild razor blade, was a real nice choice for this razor this morning. It gave me a very efficient shave, but not being overly aggressive. I like that kind of blade. An Astra blade will work with this. Uh, the uh, Persona IP uh, blue blades will be great with this. Um, I dare say any of the razor blades that I've used are gonna be great with this, but the Vikings Blade Mild Razor Blade was really, really nice. Uh, somebody wrote to me in the Monday Morning Mailbag segment of my channel as to whether or not an adjustable razor would be a good choice for a beginner. And I thought about that and I thought, yeah, you know, that would be a good way to go, provided that you, you know, take it easy and you don't, you're not tempted to dial it all the way up, start at the milder ends. Boy, this would be a great choice for a beginner because of its size, its heft, its maneuverability. It's, uh, it's not overly large, it's not overly small. Again, it's the perfect size because this classic Gillette Super Speed is a little bit shorter and how many men started with this razor right here? I mean, generations of men shave with this razor over the year and there are still generations out there 
shaving with this size razor. So when you compare the two, boy, this is a perfect, perfect size for a beginner. A great razor for a beginner, provided, again, you start on the milder side and aren't tempted to dial it up too much uh, and kind of let uh, water seek its own depth so to speak, as you go along learning the shape. But boy, it looks terrific. It handles great. The knurling on the handle is wonderful. I love the whole color scheme to it. The size, the weight, the maneuverability. I love that it's twist to open. This is really a nice, nice razor. Like this a lot. And uh, perfect size, great weight, great heft. And because of its size, I think that this would probably be very, very good for travel. And I've reviewed a travel razor on this channel before, but you know what? If I'm traveling, I've, I very well might take this because it's got a nice compact size. It's got a great weight, allows the razor to do all the work, but I can dial in any kind of shave. So I imagine that if I'm shaving in the morning, if I'm on vacation someplace for the weekend, four day getaway, whatever it is, if I'm shaving in the morning, I want to clean up, and then later on in the evening, you know, 7, 8 o'clock at night, uh, I'm going to get together and have a late dinner, that sort of thing, and I want to clean up, I could grab this and dial to a milder setting and have a one-pass or two-pass mild shave to ensure that I'm not going to be irritating my skin. That's what's so great about adjustable razors. And uh, this would be, it's a, it's, it's a great size for your daily driver at home, but you could also pack this away because of it. You could, matter of fact, you could probably take this and take this because they're both really uh, great sizes for home or for travel, in my opinion. All right. Okay, that's it. Thanks very, very much for tuning in. I really do appreciate it. Uh, please share, please subscribe. Please like, hit that bell so it'll give you a yell the next time I upload a video. Uh, comment below, let me know. Uh, check out my blog, georgetune.com slash blog for my comic trip George, other cartoons, other videos like this. Check out my Amazon product page at amazon.com slash shop slash Mark's Radio where you'll find all the products I review on this channel, organized and categorized so you can find everything in a snap very easily. Thanks very, very much for tuning in again. I really do appreciate it. I'll see you again real soon.